So around um, 2.41 p.m. UK time uh, today, which is the 2nd of November, Wednesday, we have received this email from the Kickstarter's trust and safety team saying that Luna is again under the subject of an intellectual property dispute. But if you actually read until the end of this email, it says that because the project already ended successfully, your pledge hasn't been affected. So the creator should still be able to move forward with the project and send any unfulfilled rewards. In other words, uh, Kickstarter seems to not have any problem whatsoever. Um, but we all remember that when um, it was Sunday, the 30th of October, which was quarter to 11, Kickstarters actually have uh, the trust and safety team has already confirmed that the process of this project's um, intellectual property dispute is complete. So it sounds like we are on the second phase of this dispute. Um, but very kindly, within a few hours, the Luna team sent an, sent an email to us all up backwards saying that, rest assured, um, we're on a process of trying to resolve this. But they also kindly said on the last sentence of the first paragraph that if the dispute is not resolved, the payment will be refunded to all of our backers, okay? So in other words, if the worst case scenario, you're not gonna lose your money. And it's very kind of them to say that actually for the backers. Um, but we as a customer, I'm sure most of the customers want one thing, which is the actual Luna robot itself. Now, so with all this sad and heart, I came back home and I was just playing around with a few things. And I realized I have the uh, Kebby, which is known as Robo Creator DX. And if you look at Kebby here, it has a black screen, sort of like a roundish face and a camera as well. But surprisingly, it also has eyes, um, digitalized eyes, eyebrows um, and nose and mouth. And this was never under the subject of intellectual property dispute. So that made me think, ah, oh, why not Luna team come up with a different strategy here? Because um, there were two examples suddenly popped in my head, which is number one, I remember a story about Steve Jobs decided to, in the last minute, decided to change the glass frontage of one of the iPhone models. Um, into a tougher um, material, obviously. And uh, he couldn't find any company that could deliver until there was one specific company in China promised that they will be able to del deliver that. And they did. And that was a fascinating story. And number two is that I actually come from a culture where um, if someone really gives you a hard time, even though you know you, you've done nothing wrong, uh, give them a bit of a freaking bone. That's one of my mentality as well, where um, if, if, it, if it helps, try to come up with a diversion here. Um, and I actually believe in Luna team, the Kiai Tech, because every single time when we're seeing all these drama, you can see how calmly and professionally de dealt with. And I am slowly and rather quickly actually uh, becoming a fan of Kiai Tech because I love their clickbox uh, robots. And especially, I just love the fact the way how they're responding to us in a really friendly, professional way. So I just thought, why not trying to um, budge in and uh, you know share some of my um, alternative ideas. So going back to the um, the Robo Creator DX, why not suggest some different animation that potentially could resolve almost uh, more than fifty percent of this issue? So. First um, image that I came up with, this is a photo montage, is that because uh, Luna actually has a black uh, screen background, I noticed that it is very difficult to uh, apply any of the black lining. Hence, I actually changed the black lining into green so you can see that um, it's like a green um, eyelashes and Irish with a white uh, background of an eye. I'm sure some people really hate that. So I just thought, why not we actually, okay, then have a slightly darker sort of black uh, almost so you can see 
uh, slightly, but you, you could clearly see the eye animation. So that could be like a hu human version of it. I'm sure a lot of people are still angry. Uh, and especially you'll be really angry with this one, but I just thought it would be quite funny if um, Luna will be able to have this drunken sort of effect, which I thought would be quite fr funny and friendly indeed. And the next one is like, yeah, why not? Okay, come up in like invert the actual color so that the uh, black becomes white so that you can see a bit more sort of more details of the uh, black lining. So I just thought this, this is quite cute. Um, hope you actually like it as well. The next one is okay, why not then um, make it more animated like this sort of very Disney cartoonish. But then again, I don't know whether Disney or any of these companies own the, uh, the patents for this animation. That's one of the things um, uh, I guess Team Luna have to be careful with. But okay, sort this, let's why not look into then have a Corgi uh, face on it since it represents a cute dog. So we can see the Corgi 2D version of it. I thought this will be quite um, clever um, and intelligent approach here. And then next one is if you don't really like this full animation because it takes a lot of time because we have got uh, now technically less than two months to a neon version of a pug sort of um, facing as well. I just thought that might be quite a good idea. But lastly, this is my favorite and um, very likely I think will, which will happen if uh, Kiai Tech uh, decided to change their idea. And I'm sure uh, Kiai Tech already thought about this or Luna team actually thought about it, which is going back to original. I love the fact that um, Clickbot had this one singular um, expression of an eye. It was clearly delivering the emotion as well. So I just thought, why not, um, you know, continue with that theme. So this almost becomes like a logo-ish. Um, and when everyone, anyone looks at the eye of the, any of the robots from Kiai Tech, they will know it is actually from Kiai Tech. So I just thought, why not? This could be a good suggestion. But anyhow, I just thought it would be worth as, um, one, one who is quickly becoming a fan of uh, Luna or Kiai Tech, um, just suggest some like fan base imagery here. But um, I would like to hear what you guys think also, especially the uh, Luna team, because I know they sometimes look at my videos and make some comments on it as well. So please let me know your thoughts. Look forward to uh, see it or hear it. Um, and uh, let's see how this goes. But overall, I'm sure it's it's all gonna be fine. So those who are panicking, please stay positive. Everything is gonna be okay, all right? So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best, bye-bye.